Jackson now ready to speak. The governor-elect of Arkansas now. <laughs> Arkansas, thank you very much. Shortly, a few minutes ago, I received a call from Mike Ross, who conceded the election very graciously, who wished Susan and me the best of luck in the, in the governorship, and congratulated us all on this victory. Mike and Holly have been very gracious. I appreciate the hard-fought race that they and their supporters have engaged in this campaign. But tonight, we can declare this a victory, and that I'll be the next governor of Arkansas. I, I have a lot of people to thank tonight. First of all, I want to thank all of those who have prayed steadfastly for me and my family and for this election all through this campaign. Thank you, prayer warriors. I want to thank my wife, Susan, who, who will make a wonderful First Lady of Arkansas. I, I want to thank my family that's on this stage. My son Asa, my daughter Sarah, my son John, and where is Seth? There's and Seth. <laughs> and we've got some uh, uh, tall Asa the fourth back here as well. <laughs> and uh, Abel, Malcolm, and Ella Beth, some of you might know. and Nubia, and Isabella. <laughs> Very proud of them. My family has stood with me through these years, and I'm grateful to them for their constant support and love for me, their pride in their papa and their dad. I also want to express my thanks to the thousands of volunteers that have worked hard for this election. You deserve the credit. We've had the best grassroots organization. We've had an incredible, hardworking team. We have been outraised, but not outworked. And you deserve the credit for this victory. <laughs> what does this election mean? It, all obvi <laughs> it obviously means a lot to me personally. It's a victory. I get the title of Governor of Arkansas, but let me tell you, it's a lot more than something to me personally. This election is about a new day in Arkansas. It's about a new day of growing the economy and creating jobs. It's about making sure that we can have a competitive tax rate. It is a new day in Arkansas that we can have computer science in every high school. It's a new day in Arkansas that we can reduce the burden of regulations, that we can implement the plan. That's why the people are excited about the future of this state. <laughs> but it's also a new responsibility for the Republican Party who's had a great victory tonight. We need to make sure that we earn the respect and support of the people of Arkansas by governing well, by working hard, and acting honorably. We need to earn the support of the people of Arkansas by reaching out to those that may not have supported us, but to say, you're a part of this team, and to make sure this is a new day in Arkansas, not just for us, but for all Arkansans who want greater opportunity. I 
I was delighted to receive a call from Governor Beebe, who has governed well and who has promised his support in a smooth transition. Thank you, Governor Beebe, for that. I look forward to working with you during the transition. Tomorrow we will start that new day in Arkansas governing. Not that I'll be governor yet, but the work starts, and it starts by making the calls and thanking our supporters and reaching out to those that might not have been with us and say, we need you. And it's a new day and opportunity for those who have maybe been left out of the political process. We want you to join our cause to create that opportunity in Arkansas. It is a new day in Arkansas politics. Thank you for making it possible. I'd like to have Leon Jones come up to the stage. Leon Jones, if you can make your way up here, our minority coordinator. Great job, Leon Jones. I want to thank our Senate and House leadership. There's Leon back there. He ain't going to make it up here. Thank you. <laughs> Muskie. <laughs> Listen, you all have been terrific tonight. I look forward to working for the good of the state of Arkansas. And let me end with this. I humbly am grateful to the people of Arkansas for giving me this honor. It is a humbling experience to be on this podium in times are tough, but to be here when times are good and we've won this election is a humbling experience for me. And let me tell you, I'll work every day to repay the honor the people of Arkansas have given to me, to Susan, to our family, and to this great state. Thank you and God bless you. And you've been listening to Governor-elect Asa Hutchinson as he declares victory tonight in Arkansas. And that's all the time we have here on the Arkansas.